In the previous video, I showed you how to um, insert new sheets, how to delete them and how to rename them. Today I want to show you, or now I want to show you how to copy and paste information from one sheet to another sheet in the, the same workbook. Remember, your workbook is your document that you opened. Your sheets are the ones at the bottom that's saved in the workbook. As you can see, the sheets at the bottom here, they are not in alphabetical order. So let's put them in alphabetical order like I told you how to move them. Double click on it, hold it in, and drag it to where you want it. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, so that they are in alphabetical order. If I want to copy the information from one sheet to another. I have to read my instructions to make sure what information I have to copy. Remember in Excel we use columns A, B, C, D, E and we use rows 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the language used in your exam or in the Excel language will be A1 or B7 or D11 or something like that. So always make sure that you know what information is needed to to be copied. So let's say from A1 to C17. So before I copy or change anything, I have to highlight. So highlight from A1 to B17, C17. Sorry. Right click in the uh, highlighted area. Click on copy. Let's copy it to work uh, sheet A. Always make sure where they want you to copy it. Is it A1? Is it A4? A5? Let's say it's A1, so right click in A1. Then you get to your paste options, but we are going to use paste special. So you click on paste special. Here you have different options of what you can take over, what it is that you want to copy. <coughs> Formulas, values, formats, comments, and so on. We are going to take over the column widths first so that your columns are big enough for your information to fit. You click on column widths. Okay. No information is there yet. You only took over the column widths from the prices worksheet. So right click again, paste special. Now you're going to click on all to take over all the other information that was in the highlighted area that you copied. Go back to the prices. Let's say we need to copy um, from A1 to B29. A1 to B29. Highlight, right click in the gray area or the highlighted area, copy. Go to worksheet, let's say it's worksheet B. In A1, right click, paste special, column words first, okay. Right click again, paste special. All the other information must go over now. Now your column words, your columns are big enough. There's no words cut off and you won't lose any marks for that. Okay, I can also copy and paste information from one workbook to another workbook. So, A1 to D25. I have to take over A1 to D25. Highlight. Right click in the gray area, copy. As soon as you click on copy, you will see that little dotted line. It means your work is selected and it's copied. So you minimize, you open a blank word document. You go to A1 there, right click, paste special, column widths first, right click, paste special, all the information. Now you have copied that information from the one workbook to the other workbook. At the bottom of your screen, you will see your Excel um, shortcut at the bottom. It shows you that there's two documents open. The ABC Excel uh, document that we opened, uh, that we started with, and then book one, the new one that we created. So let's go back to the ABC one. I can also copy a whole worksheet 
let's say your information, your worksheet, there's a lot of information, there's a lot of work that you've done. You want to copy that whole worksheet from one workbook to another workbook. At the bottom, you select your worksheet, right click, move or copy. I can copy from the AB where, my, where move selected sheets, where do I want to copy it to? To the, to the new book one that's open. You must just remember if you want to copy a worksheet, both must be open. If it's ABC that I'm copying from to let's say DEF, both those worksheets must be up open at the bottom of your taskbar. So we've got a book one and an ABC. So I want to move to book one and I want to move it where? Where must it appear? Before sheet one or move it to the end? If I want to create a copy, remember the difference between move and copy. If I move something, I take it from some place and I put it somewhere else. If I copy it, it stays in the original position and I just take a copy over to the other sheet. So I want to create a copy and I say, okay. Now, in my book one, there is my whole prices worksheet that I took from ABC workbook, the whole prices worksheet. So the prices worksheet now appears in ABC and in book one, the whole, all the information that would be in the prices worksheet. So I made a copy. It appears in both the ABC as well as book one. If I move it, let's go to ABC, the ABC worksheet. If I go to sheet A, right click, move or copy. I want to move this one to book one. If I need to move it, I'm not going to click on create a copy because I don't want a copy. I want to move it completely. Where do I want it? Do I want it before the prices or before sheet one or must it be at the end? Let's say it must be at the end. I am moving the sheet. I'm not copying it. So I'm not creating a copy. I'm just clicking. It must go to book one. Move to the end. Okay. Now, there's my book one workbook. Prices, sheet one, and there's that worksheet A. If I go to the bottom here and I go to ABC workbook, there's no more A there because I moved it. That's the difference between move and copy. So be very careful with your instructions when they tell you to move or when they tell you to copy. So when I want to copy something in the, work, in the worksheets, highlight, right click, paste, Go to, uh, copy, go to where I want, paste special, select column widths first, then I go back and I then I paste special again, I select all. I hope that this will help you.